Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, today we are going to discuss one of the most interesting topics of programming, our arrays. So let us see the agenda of today. Let us open. So guys, these are the different kinds of parts we have covered in our previous videos. Before going for the introduction of arrays, before seeing what it is, I will suggest you to go through my previous parts so that you can understand VB script step by step, right? So let us open the path 11 arrays. Let us set an agenda for today. Let me rename this. I'll just write agenda arrays introduction. So mainly guys, today we are going to discuss only two things. So what are arrays? What are the types of declaration in arrays? So first we'll discuss what are arrays or you can say what is an array. Now we will see an, another question. What are different types of arrays declaration? What are different types of arrays declaration. So why do we use array guys? If a user wants to store more than one value in a variable that becomes an array. For example, if I have an array animal, right? Animal can be an array. So I can have a list of animals. Right, so I can have um, I can have birds, I can have reptiles, I can have apes. There's a categories in animal species, right? So, like, if I want to store this entire thing in a single variable, right? I can't just write animal equal to birds, right? So this becomes so this becomes a variable. So this becomes a value for the assigned variable. So if you see animal, animal can be a, a generic group, right? If you want to save more than one value to particular variable, so this becomes an array and actually solves the problem, right? In a variable, only one value can be stored. If more than one value, if you want to store more than one value, we'll choose array, right? So let us write down the definition what exactly what exactly array is. We actually know very well that like a variable is what is a variable we have already discussed, guys. So if you want to know more about variable, you can watch the previous video. So variable is actually a container that stores a value, right? If if you want more than one value to be stored, that is called an array, array variable. So variable is a container which stores the value. If if a user wants to store more than one value then it becomes then it becomes array variable array variable now we are going to see a second answer. What are the different types of declaration? 
So arrays are declared the same way as the variables. So in array variables, we use normally we use parentheses. So if you want to describe a first array, so I can take an example. So if I write arr equal to one, so this this becomes a variable. If I want same as an array, so I'll use open bracket close bracket. If I want to declare, I'll use dim dim of arr. If I want to specify size, I'll use dim arr of that particular size. There is also another way to declare a variable. So I'll just write arr, and I can just write array. Instead of writing ARR, let me just write fruits as the array variable. So I have to use the keyword array. Then I will write a close bracket. I can write apple. I can write mango. I can write banana, etc. So this is the first way of declaration. Um, let me write the first way. First way of the declaration of the, instead of arr, right? Let me just write um, fruits. This declaring without any size. This the second type is declaring um, array with specified size. Third type is taking a variable and using the array keyword to declare array variable. Today's video we have discussed about arrays. What is an array or a different types of declaration of an array. In future videos we will see more and more examples with arrays. If you like this video guys please uh, click on like button if you are a new viewer. Please click on subscribe. Till then, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.